Hi, this is Jack with Luxury Cruise Tips, and I'm on board the Amicello in France. So while I'm on board, might as well give you a tour of a stateroom. So this is a French balcony stateroom. So let's take a look. This is cabin 316. Again, it is a French balcony on the Amicello. And do me a favor and subscribe to my videos as I do post new videos every Wednesday. So let's take a look around. Okay, so we're in cabin 316 and this cabin is set up with a queen size bed on the Amicello. Now if you've looked at some of my past videos, I was on the Amiverde not too long ago and you will notice these cabins are much smaller. Um, these cabins are approximately 170 square feet. They do not have any twin balcony cabins on the Amicello. So let's take a look again. This is a French balcony cabin, so as you can see, there are doors you can open them, but you cannot walk outside. So this cabin is set up as a queen. You can ask for them to set this up as two twins. What they will do is separate these beds and put the nightstands in the middle. So let's take a look. There's two nightstands here, um, no USB or anything. There is some lighting here on this side of the bed. You do have a night lamp. There is a switch there. Now for the bedding, they set these rooms up with hypoallergenic pillows and duvets to start with, but you can ask the desk up front if you want any other pillows. They have a couple different options on board. They have the luggage mat on when you check into your staterooms. So this way you're not messing up their sheets and you can put your suitcases up there, but this will be taken away once you check in. Now on this side, which is the side of the French balcony. As you can see, there's a couple light switches. So the light switches do a couple things. First is the lights control the overall lights in the room. Plus up on the ceiling around here, there are also some mood lights um, that will control that. And you also do have a night lamp. So again, if you've been on some of the other Amish ships where they have the reading lights and things of that nature, you do not have that, but you do have a clock, which is nice. Um, you do have this little nightstand. It's a pretty shallow drawer, but you can store some books and things in here and a nice mirror. And as you come around here, as you can see, you have chairs, have a little table. Um, they will set that little table with a flower. Usually they'll give you a rose. And as you can see, this is where the French balcony is. So you can open those doors um, and every night they will pull the curtains and the shades are room darkening, which is very, very nice. So you can sleep all day long, or at least until seven o'clock when you want to get up for your tours. Now, as we come to this side of the stateroom, you do have a desk. It's pretty narrow, but you do have some outlets here. Now what you will notice is there's no open outlets. If you ask at the front desk, they will give you a device to plug in which that you can then plug multiple devices in, or in our stateroom, it was already here. You do have a little cabinet here that you can store stuff in. It is not a refrigerator as in some of the other Alma ships, and you do have drawers. The drawers are fairly shallow, but good place for storage. Now let's look over here. So you have your quiet box, your telephone, and your headphones. Now it's very important that at the end of the day, you do put your quiet boxes back in the charging or else you'll go out on tour and then they'll go dead. I would say they've lasted us a couple of days, but the other day I forgot to charge mine and it wasn't really great. Um, you do have this little alarm here. So what that's for, if there's anything happens, that's an emergency, just click it and someone will come running. As you see, they do also provide you two bottles of water. They'll keep replenishing them and there is a bottle opener for some wine as well. Not that they provide it, but if you have any or you buy it ashore, there's some great wines in the Burgundy region that you can buy and you can enjoy yourselves. Now here, what you see is the TV. Now the TV has movies on it. You have TV channels and you also have all the information about your cruise. Um, there is a keyboard, so if you want internet access, you can internet access the internet there and there is a remote control as well as the keypad and a mouse. There is no chair at the desk, but you can swivel this chair around and try to use it. The desk is fairly shallow, but you can definitely put a laptop in front and you do have a full length mirror in case you want to change and there is a lamp here. Now, 
as you head back this way towards the front door um, right here you do have some storage so let's take a look at the storage and see what you have in your stateroom so in these closets you have plenty of hangers uh, multiple traces of hangers you also have a device for your shoes and you have some umbrellas don't worry if you forget your umbrella as you leave the ship you can definitely ask someone at the front desk to borrow some umbrellas up there so again there's plenty of room in here um, especially if you're not going on a winter cruise this is burgundy in may it was a little chilly so it was good to have some space in here for jackets but as you cruise through the summer you'll need less and less of the jackets so room on the floor for your shoes no shoe racks or anything but there's plenty of room to hang things in here now as you go to this cabinet you do have your robes they will hang those robes for you in the bathroom you have a safe you set your own code um, it is not large enough to put a laptop in but you can store whatever else you want in there and you also have your slippers there's also some laundry bags so if you want to send your laundry out there is no self-service laundry on the ship but if you want to pay to have your laundry done you can do that as well and you also have additional storage in here so as you see there's plenty of storage on board the ship between the two closets here and a couple of the drawers now the only thing we haven't shown you yet is the bathroom so let's take a look at the bathroom on board the amicello okay so as i said they will hang your robes up in the bathroom um, there are no hooks as in there are in some other ama ships outside of the bathroom you do have before you enter the bathroom your thermostat as well as some light switches but let's look at the bathroom so in the shower you do have a handheld shower head as well as a rain head the water pressure has been pretty amazing in the shower head they do provide you amenities here which um, if you don't like these and you want some soap bars you can ask the front desk or your cabin or stateroom attendant and they will provide you some uh, bars of soap or if you want some other shampoos you can see what else they have but again there is the rain head up here as well as the handheld for your shower um, you have of course your toilet there is not a toilet room if you're looking for that and towels if you want extra towels it's pretty easy just ask your stateroom attendant and they'll provide you extra towels there's very limited room for storage in here but they will provide extra towels every day if you'd like them um, you also have the mirror behind the mirror there is some storage so if you have your toiletries or medications there's plenty of place in here to store them and you also then below the sink have a cabinet down there if you want to store things there is some hand soap um, some liquid as well as a bar of soap and the sink the water has had great pressure on board as well as the hot water has been very hot which is a good thing so this is the bathroom on board the amicello so this is a french balcony stateroom on the amicello i would say the majority of staterooms are french balcony on the ship you do have some non-french balcony staterooms and then down on deck 100 you do have staterooms that are relatively the same on the inside except they do have just a window at water level so this again has been the french balcony on board the amicello again if you've sailed some of the ama ships that are larger those staterooms are larger there are no twin balcony staterooms on the amicello so if you're expecting to sit outside and enjoy the beautiful views as we go by um, as you can see there is not space outside to do so but you're more than happy to open the french balcony door and enjoy the fresh air coming in to your french balcony cabin on board the amicello in the burgundy region of france thanks for watching my videos and hopefully you'll take a cruise on the amicello and leave some comments about how your experience was on board the ship and this was jack with luxury cruise tips